Hello everyone and welcome to Harvest World for part three of the silage series and we are doing some testing on compacting. How quickly can we compact our chaff and blanket it for silage? Now my theory is that weight matters. The heavier the tractor, the faster you'll compact it. We are going to test that today and here are the rules. So first of all, we're testing one tractor from each class, small, medium, and large. I purchased the largest vanilla game tractor I could find. Each tractor had to have single tires, no wheel weights. Those are the rules. I've got silage set up in a pit already, right over here. And that should be about 112,000 liters of silage. Let's take a look. Yep, 112,000 liters. Now it's in two rows. It was kind of the only way I could do it without starting the compacting. So I had to keep the rows separated. But our tractors aren't going to have a, tr a problem with that, are they? No. And we are going to time this on a stopwatch. I will be running the stopwatch. And this is the starting line. First thing we're going to do, we are going to weigh our tractor. We'll start with the small one. And right behind me here, I do have a weigh station. So this is a Voltra. And our vehicle weight is 6,168 kilograms or 13,600 pounds. And we'll pull up to the starting line. like so we'll get those tires right up to the edge right there just like so I have got my stopwatch ready to go and begin We are at just 1%. Try to move this over a little bit. 2%. This poor little vulture might be struggling with this. I don't know. 3%. How long can it take? 4. 5. Now, of course, there are some variables in this that we really can't control for much. Um, the driving pattern, of course, you know, I'm just trying to keep the tractor on chaff as much as I possibly can. Trying to spread it out a little bit. 9%, 10%, we're at 10%, and that's one minute gone. Twelve percent. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. The chaff is spreading nicely. Let's see if we can't get a little roundhouse action going on there. We're at 20%. This is going to take a while. 20%. Come on, little Vulture, you got this. 20%. That's two minutes. 22% at two minutes. We're doing about 10% per minute, 11% per minute. I think one of the tricks is staying in motion. Something to the Vulture's advantage, it's got this short wheelbase so it can turn sharper. When we get this chaff spread out, it'll make life easier too. Twenty 
32 and that's three minutes gone we are keeping right about with our 10 percent per minute and that since that's the case i'm not going to make you sit through all of this so i will catch up to you when we hit 90 percent and we are at seven minutes 42 seconds at 90 percent just trying to knock out this last 10 percent the little vulture is chugging away obviously the pace has picked up because um well, if we were meeting our previous pace, we'd be at 9 minutes for 90%. So, 94%. Coming up on 95. There's 95. We're at 8 minutes exactly. 96. 97. So close, so close. 98. 99. And where is it? 100% at 8 minutes and 27 seconds for the Voltra. 8 minutes and 27 seconds. Good work, Voltra. Nice effort. Okay, I am going to reset this and we will find out how our medium tractor challenger holds up. I'll be right back. And we are back with our medium challenger, the John Deere 6250R. Again, this is the largest tractor I could find in the medium category. Now, I didn't weigh every tractor in the medium tractor category. This is just what I consider to be the largest. So, we are at 9,377 9, kilograms or 20,676 pounds. And as you can see, our bunker silo has been reset for the new Challenger. Again, this is a weight test. That's why we are weighing each of our tractors, just to see if weight will allow us to compact our silage faster. And we are ready to go again. Three, two, one begin and the John Deere is off to a good start 2% already that was a very quick charge to 2% 4% and he's working on the right hand pile trying to smooth that out a little bit 6% that pile is smashing nicely. It's down to seven, eight. And he'll move back to the left, working on that left pile of chaff, trying to get it to flatten out as well. 10% at 39 seconds. The John Deere is smashing the competition along with this chaff. 13%. 14%. I think it's safe to say the John Deere is going to kick this chaff. It's going to make that little Voltra <laughs> um, seem like a toy. We are up to 25% at a minute and 23 seconds. So yeah. The John Deere is really, really wrecking this chaff. It's going to town on it. Remember, this was a 20,000 pound tractor. And so far, it appears that the weight might be making a big difference in getting this chaff compacted. And again, I will catch up with you when we hit 90%. And we are at 4 minutes and 32 seconds where we just crossed the 90% barrier, 91, 92. The John Deere is doing this much faster. Much faster than the Voltra. 
Now it does only make sense that weight would play a role in compacting because, well, that's kind of the point of compacting, isn't it? Pressing it down. Weight should help. But you never know with farming simulator physics. And this test will decide that once and for all. And we are at exactly five minutes. Five minutes on the nose for the John Deere at 20,000 pounds. That is our medium tractor. 20,674 pounds. Five minutes on the nose. Let me reset and we'll hit it hard with our large tractor. And we are back with the Challenger MT-975E. The big articulated tractor from representing the large tractor class. Let's get that on the scale and let's see how much this beast weighs. 44,602 pounds. More than twice the weight of the John Deere. How will the Challenger fare? How quickly can it do it? We're about to find out. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. Challenger's going for the left pile. Literally and figuratively, this is the Challenger. <laughs> Oh, the Challenger's stuck. That can't be a good thing. There we go. He's off the pile. He's off the pile. Now we can see the, the smaller tractors seem to have a little bit of an advantage there. But he's already compacted 10%. 10% in one pass, it seems like. 15%. I'm going very, very quickly across this chaff packing it down except it keeps getting stuck twenty five percent already twenty six twenty seven percent twenty nine at just over one minute we are at thirty percent thirty three percent thirty five we're just going to stick with this one the whole way, folks. Going to stick with this one the whole way because I think this Challenger is going to destroy this chaff. Obviously, very, very quickly. At a minute and a half, we are at 48%. It's barely even spreading the chaff. It's just just packing it down right where it sits. It's 65. Oh, we're almost stuck again. If he hadn't been stuck that first time, this would have gone even faster. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. We are at eighty-five percent already. Rapidly approaching that hundred percent mark. It only makes sense, doesn't it? Absolutely, but now we know for sure. Ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five. 97, 98, 99, and there it is. 100% at 2 minutes and 53 seconds. The Challenger destroyed the competition. And we know for a fact at this point that weight does matter. Now, we have a surprise Challenger sitting over on the wings. And we are going to just throw this in because... I'm intrigued. The rule was these had to be tired tractors, no treads, single tires, 
but I do. I just happen to have a Challenger right over there with some treads on it. I'm going to reset one more time. And we're going to try treads and see how that might affect the outcome. Be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Case IH Quad Track C620. Let's weigh in, shall we? This thing is a beast at 53,513 pounds, 24,269 kilograms. It's already got the advantage on weight, but we might be able to extrapolate a little bit of information about the treads. We're going to find out though. And the case approaches the starting line. In three, two, one, go. And the case quad track charges forward, getting on top of that chaff, no problem. 5% first pass. Ten percent on the second pass. Five percent every time he crosses the or uh, heads down the <laughs> heads down the bunker silo working on that other pile now 18 19 20 percent at 34 seconds we are a quarter of the way done already approaching the one minute mark At exactly one minute, we are at 38%. 38% compacted. The time to beat is 2 minutes and 53 seconds by the Challenger. Can the quad track with its extra weight and its treads do, do it faster? We're going to find out. 50% at 1 minute and 20 seconds. Fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Seventy per cent. At the two minute mark, we're at 78%. One hundred at two minutes and thirty seconds on the nose. Two minutes and thirty seconds for the case quad track. So the weight definitely helps. I don't know if the case did it fast enough to say that the treads made a difference or not. The weight certainly did make a difference as we've seen across the board. And the final times again, our little Valtra, 8 minutes and 27 seconds. And the mid-sized John Deere at 5 minutes even. The Challenger nailed it at 2 minutes and 53 seconds. And the Case Quad Track just being a random entry, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So there you have it, folks. It's official, without a doubt, wait plays a big part in getting your compacting done kind of the whole point of compacting isn't it but now we know for sure so i do appreciate you taking a look at this if you found the uh, information interesting enjoyable fun whatever do me a favor 
hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, take care.